Hello, we are playing this game again. Well, let's dive in. Last time, I had just sort of got into a place that was new to me. Which, okay, that is most of the game. Wait, were those square footsteps? Sure looks like it. Okay. So, let's see what horrifying things are available. It looks like... I need to do a thing to get across there. I don't see any way to... Wait. I don't see a way to... get there normally. Yeah, that didn't work out. the right idea too. Well, not that it should be difficult to figure out the sequence of use gun on man to quote Yahtzee. Did he just walk in there? That was very rude. Ah, tricky jumps. I do think it's very clever how they combined jumps and dashes in this game. Aha! Uh -huh. I. Well, this could be the solution I was thinking of. Well, I wasn't actually thinking of any solutions, but... Mystery solved? I do believe so. Hooray! Another hyper light quarter. Not hooray! I just jumped off a cliff. Also, didn't I already pass through here? Yes, I sure did. Lose health, get ammo. The best trade. Okay, but before that, I need to check all the options. Like this one. Aha! I, I actually had no idea that was what was going to happen. I thought I could just walk on this little bridge here. But hey! This side path also works. Oh no. More of these. These are... Well, I recall them being extremely unfriendly, and that is because they are. Oh, it's one of those switches. I'll probably have to shoot it too. Wait, how do I dash? Okay. That's good. That's kind of good. That's also... Oh, I can do a thing from here? No, no. 
You're lying to me, little robot helper. You lied. But what now? I can't shoot the trigger thing. And there's a rail in the way. Oh, that was the wrong button. That was extremely the wrong button. But those walls are blocking the switch, so what now? Oh, maybe I can do a diagonal dash. It is going to be unpleasant, for sure. Extremely unpleasant because, well, I'm not sure how I was supposed to handle that. But I won't turn down another hyperlight quarter. That seems like a long way to go for a small bit of currency. But then I remembered the lengths that one has to go through to get certain pieces of heart in Zelda, so. I guess I should not be surprised. This. I guess I can't do anything with that. Alright, so there's two ways I can go from here that are not side path E. There we go. Stupid ninja hiding in the shadows. They these guys are more ninja than I am. I I don't even know what to say. I'm sure that there is a strategy that works reliably on them. Oh, I have to get that hyper light quarter again. I have to get all the other hyper light quarter okay fine. Oh. Don't recall going that way. But that's because it's a sneak peek and I can't actually do anything with it. So sad. Well, that's a lot of stuff that I have to redo. That is a whole lot of stuff that I have to redo. I do not like that. Well, one thing at a time. Oh, so I can't just casually walk across the trap tile. I suppose that is useful information. Even so, that was a fair chunk of progress to go through without a save. I'm not happy about that. You just sort of snuck onto the battlefield from below, didn't you? I'm the least ninja of the ninjas in this town. This game sure loves its, its frame freezes, but that I, uh, that is very encumbering. And distracting. Then I realized it only does that when I get hit. Getting hit is so unhealthy for some reason, I don't even know why. Okay, why am I having even more trouble with this screen every time I uh, walk into it? It seems very strange.
I feel like I must have broken something because the difficulty d just went straight down on that attempt. Oh well. Don't even need the medkit this time. I have to admit, having the uh, dash off of ledges thing is a rather clever way to limit its effectiveness. Wanna just dash every time you see a shiny thing? Well, better make sure there's a railing. That's one recovery. What is wrong with me? I'm gonna be running on zero med kits for the rest of the dungeon, aren't I? As far as I can tell, with this setup, I cannot really get on there. So it looks like a choice, but it's really not. Well, that went all right. There's probably a way to avoid that fire, I just haven't figured it out yet. And that's two of two. Take that, bones. Next I have to do a thing which saves the game, preferably. Because that was a fairly difficult room, or I should just say a room that is good at killing me in particular. And I'd rather not do that again if possible. Oh man, I heard that there are games that don't save every like two minutes. That must be a lie though. No one would be able to finish a game like that. There we go. Well, let's go back to where I was before. Ooh. Oh. You you didn't even notice me, did you? I wasn't even aiming for that guy, but no complaints. Aww. Well, I deserved that. So, it looks like I can pursue them when they do that leap backwards, because... Rule of fighting games. Uh, moving backwards has to be uh, less fast than moving forwards. 
A hyper light dollar, yes. I can buy myself a new toy. It would have to be a very shoddy toy, though. There we go. I notice little things like that. I got a key piece. Uh... Not... not that I want to sound ungrateful. It's just that considering the number of key pieces I'm gonna need to unlock the doors I've seen, at this rate, I might be able to unlock a door after 40 hours of play or so. Oh. I keep forgetting which button is aiming and which one is for the thing other than aiming. But this can't be everything. Well, I suppose it can be everything, but I'd be very surprised. Oh, well, that's rude. see what you did there. Is that really it though? Seems a little sparse for considering some of the other things I've discovered through little touches like that. Alright, let's keep moving. I thought that elevator was going to go up. I should have known better. And hooray, we got ourselves a save. Hello there. Oh. I was hoping, against previous experience, that you would be friendly. Alrighty then. What? A hyper light core that I didn't have to go through a whole bunch of traps to get? What madness is this? I don't think I've ever encountered an overhead game that was quite uh, so enamored of platforming. Oh, okay, fine. Well, I don't want to... I want to make sure that the elevator is uh, not a backtracking thing, and I think it was. Got to check. Alright. Don't need that, but it's good to know it's there. You thought I was going to shoot, didn't you? Well, you're right. Just not this time. Just, or that time. Whatever you want to call it. Those boxes are very unfriendly. I think we got a major objective right there.
Well, let's just figure out a couple of things. Got acquire targets a little faster, sir. Oh, you can jump across bits too. Very impressive. One thing at a time. Gotta watch where you're jumping, though. So I, for those guys, I have to take advantage of the delay between the box throw and the actual shooting. Generally, when I close in on that guy, I'm in pretty good shape. What is this? Looks like it should be something a little more meaningful. Whatever. Hidden med kit? Well, it's a video game, that's how it should be, I suppose. Ah, oh, too bad. I was hoping it was one of those blocks that would lower the moment I touched it. That'd be a little too friendly, I suppose. Wow. Someone had a bad time here. Someone in addition to me, that is. Maybe I should have gone over there first thing, huh? Oh wow, how much do I have to redo now? Why on earth did he jump towards me? How on earth did I survive in first person shooters with aim like mine? So, overall, looking much better than last time, which I will admit is the lowest of bars. And I have to admit, the game does make a certain kind of sense in that firing over long distances is difficult with a pistol? You don't say. So then. Well. I should have done that like a million years ago.
Yeah, that range seems overall better for the pistol. Stuff that's just out of reach, not so much as a sniper weapon. Okay then. So let's take a deep breath and just dive right in. just show up immediately after I killed that one. Also, my frenzied charge towards the rifles worked less well than I thought it would. I also need to remember that most enemies don't actually get flinched when I hit them with something. Like that. That's exactly what I'm talking about there. I also need to remember that there actually is cover here. Yeah, it turns out that paying attention to cover really helped. Good port, though. I am bad at chasing down those... I don't even know if I want to call them ninjas anymore. What, no brandish after that one? You people are weird. Remember when I took care of three of those in one video? Yeah, those were good times that we'll probably never see again. So, I, I assume this is the way back in some fashion. Even though there's things that I missed down there. I'm sure of it. It was still a fair amount of legwork. So I think I'm gonna put a stop to that right now to avoid having the video run a horrifically long time. And I will see you when I pick up this game again. Which shouldn't be too long from now. Later.